What's up guys, Matt Piedmont. We're back in Salisbury, North Carolina today at the General RV site. One of the biggest jobs we're gonna do this year. Throwing down some stone. We've got 10 trucks running, so we'll get 1,600 tons, 1,700 tons of stone down today. What's special about today is, if you look behind me, we've got a big ass John Deere grader here with smart grade technology on it. So a couple months ago, we uh, introduced the Topcon model rover with tablet so we can start 3D spot checking our grades, make our own models and stuff like that on site to help us with grading. And so this is kind of the next step. We've rented it from James River in Greensboro and uh, first time running. He's been running for like, what, 30 minutes now, 45 minutes now. It's a little bit different. Obviously we're used to the Lee voice, but uh, so this is a little bit different. It's all joystick. But, I mean, it's two buttons, set and go, set your depth, set your offset and let it roll. And uh, so far, I've been very impressed. You get your model made, you, you spot check some stuff, make sure the guys who did the subgrade are close with your rover and tablet, your base, and then you set your base up on a known point, make a control point, and, and then enter it into this thing right here, upload it, and let him go to town. Learning curve is driving and operating it just because we're not used to it with the joysticks, but already, I mean, you can have it set and let it go and it's gonna be a game changer for us specifically on this job. It's not gonna matter so much on our littler jobs where we're grading and paving, but on these big ones like this right here, being able to just let that thing go is gonna be nice. I think it's gonna save us a lot of time in the whole grading scheme. So we're excited about it. Thank you to Josh and Thomas, everybody at Foresight Solutions in Greensboro for coming out and showing us how to run it and uh, keeping us up to date and answering all the phone calls when we call because we do call a lot. You'll understand that if you start getting into this smart grade stuff firsthand. It's, it's like putting a big puzzle together and learning all the different things, all the different options, all the different whatever else it does because it'll do, it's like a big little mini computer. But um, it's the future, so we've decided that we might as well start embracing it and getting acquainted with it anyways. Uh, especially if you're going to be able to save time on these big jobs, keep track of stone. When you got 35,000 tons of stone going down and you're not in a big area like this right here, you can lose it quick and uh, so it's, it's good to have something like that where it's going to keep you back of a tent on, uh, on grading so you can keep up with your stone. We got our concrete guys down there, they finished pouring curve last week, they're doing some touch up stuff right now, some tie-ins around bait, catch basins and stuff and so I'm waiting on the bottom side to get proof rolled so we can keep going that way. But plenty of area, plenty of time, and plenty of stone left to go. So stay tuned, stay with us, follow along. Here you got the rover with a tablet. So this is basically, that's connected to the satellites. Here's, and in the, in the tablet here, we had our model made with everything on it. So it's saying here it needs to go up half a tenth. So you're talking back of an inch. So this is great for jobs. Even if you don't have a smart grade machine out, you still, if it's a big enough job to have a model made, but you don't want a smart grade machine, which doesn't make sense, if, you know, now that I've seen a smart grade machine work, wouldn't make sense. But you have it to spot check. So you're going through knocking stone down, you put it on something and see what you got. And there you are. So it'll follow you along, model all, blow it out. It's got all the contours, all the fun stuff for you to follow. You have to localize, you have to localize the rover, which are all these outside points here. There's four, there's five, there's five points to localize so that this and everything else incorporated knows exactly where you're at when you're in the point in time and it's really important for you to be able to for you to start checking grade you have to have it localized and it helps with the machine as well so there's so many things i don't know about it but you learn more every day you use it but spot checks you just go and it follows you long it'll follow you change it to the guy walking you go spot check let's see where we're at right here so right here half a tenth it's got to come up half a tenth you put your offset in and roll but we're low back here. Where we get high, where we get back to normal is gonna be somewhere right here. And structure here is six and three, so you're setting your offset 0.25, minus 0.25, but she's got it set at minus 1.5, just to leave some room for rolling and then one final cut. Since we're not gonna be paving here for a while, we'll go through and blade it off one more time. But I mean, right here, the first cut he made when he did do 0.25, 
cut three inches out. I mean, this showing is dead nuts. This is on grade right here, six inches stone. It's ready for three inches of asphalt. But the amount of time that you save with this kind of equipment on these jobs is what makes it worth it and makes it worth looking at in the investment wise. We've even got the boss, the big G, the OG over here and looking at watching this today because he's a firm believer in old school stuff and letting him see how this smart grade machine works and what all, how much time it's gonna save. All right, 1,836 tons later, it's four o'clock on the dock. Got here at 7 a.m. this morning. First stab with smart grade GPS on a grader. I'd say today was a success. I'm super excited to see where this smart grade system goes and how much it helps us out here on this big job. Um, first impressions are, I feel like we're getting dumber, but at the same time, welcome on the technology I suppose. If it's there we might as well use it. So yeah we're gonna be out here on this Salisbury job for the next couple foreseeable months obviously. Um, we've still probably got after today we probably still have back at 20,000 tons to go down out here. Stay tuned, subscribe, follow along and uh, follow the process as we tackle this monster job.